I'm Kellen Lamano, your culture reporter in Lafayette Parish, where even with the week's weather, the weekend's festivities are a go. Here in Scott, the Acadiana Po'boy Festival is as devour worthy as ever. Within minutes of arriving at the Acadiana Po'boy Festival, I meet Sal Sinceri, a visitor to the city of Scott. I'm from New Orleans, and I'm just thrilled to be here in Scott, Louisiana, enjoying a Pope Boy Fest and being back with a bunch of my friends. Something to know about Sal is that he has an oyster business in New Orleans and is a little disappointed to learn about something missing from the Acadiana Pope Boy Festival. And so as the, the oyster guy, what was the thing you came here looking for? All right, so yeah, okay, I'm looking around. I'm thinking there's got to be at least one guy, girl that's producing some oyster po' boys. I don't see it yet. I just got here. I walked around. Maybe there's other spots, and I just don't know. So hopefully we're going to have an oyster po' boy coming up real soon. In an effort to find something to replace the elusive oyster po' boy, I joined Sal in trying something a little different. We taste test the Bang Bang Fish po' boy. You know, I had a bite earlier, and you know what? It was great. Right. It was great. I'll do one more right, just because. first bite, you rated it a 9.1. 9.1. Second, Second bite, bite might be a 8.2, might be a 10.5. Right. You know, you go overboard. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mmm. Mm. Just as good. I'll give it a 9. Point one. All right. We are also joined by Sal's po'boy crew to try out the shrimp version of the po'boy. Well, we're going to try this little bang bang shrimp. Is that, okay. bang, bang. And while it may not have been an oyster po' boy, Sal sure seems to enjoy it and sets off for his next bite. Besides the po' boys, the festival has live music and lots of shopping. A little rain can't drown out the spirit of Acadiana. To see more of this weekend's festivities, visit KTC.com. In Lafayette Parish, I'm Kaylin Lamano, your culture reporter. KTC TV3.